just want to give you guys a quick overview of how to test your code after you've written a function. Um, after you've written a function, one of the things you're going to do, well, first of all, obviously you'll, you'll do run like you usually do. And then you'll check to see, does the solution match my canvas? And by the way, when I'm helping you folks in class, I regularly say click on solution and then click on my canvas. Th this is the area that I'm talking about. Um, and uh, and one of the things that we'll do besides hitting run and checking to see if those two match once we've written a function is we're going to come down here and look at the checklist and in the checklist there may be several things for us to do including several test cases so in this case I'm going to go ahead and click on this test case and then I'm going to go ahead and hit run and check to see whether that, that test case, whether solution and my canvas match up. Then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and try the next test case. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit run and see if solution and, and the test case matches up. And if it doesn't, I may have some work to do that I've got to fix. And then finally, I'm going to go and try the last test case or as many test cases as there are and again I'll run and I'll check to see does my solution match the last test case this is something above and beyond what you had to do in unit 1 and I just want to make it clear that you should be testing all the test cases in the checklist after you've written a function